chapters first. Je, tunaweza angalia moyo ambao unaingia kwanza. Deuteronomy chapter 6 4 to 6. I'm looking at the heart. Step by step I'm walking you into the heart that enters. Kum- And now you can use it you can use this as a checklist, a mirror to do a spiritual audit of your heart. Hallelujah. It's about the heart, right? Ina uhusiano na moyo. Deuteronomy chapter 6:4 to 6. Hear O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart is now all of a sudden Sasa gap raising gap. the features and the elements of the heart anainua maswala na vipengee vya moyo ah he is now saying Sasa. everything depends on the heart Sa- love thy god with all thy heart anasema sasa kila kitu kinategemea moyo mpende bwana mungu na moyo wako wote and you'll find na utapata that even when the lord wants to come and deposit his spirit ya kwamba hata wakati bwana anapotaka kuja na kuweka roho wake it is the heart that is targets ni moyo ambao ndio anaulenga you will soon find hivi karibuni utapata that of all the organs god created in the human being ya kwamba katika viungo vyote ambavyo mungu aliviumba katika mwanadamu the heart moyo is the most important ndio ulio wa muhimu zaidi because kwa sababu the heart moyo is the one that can respond to the environment ndio ambao unaweza ukaitikia of life yale ma, 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 maisha mazingira ya maisha number 2 jambo la pili the heart moyo is the one that can respond to the requirements of the lord ndio ambao unaweza itikia matakwa ya bwana so all of a sudden kwa hivyo ghafla binfu after seeing imperishability baada ya kuona kuto kuharibika incorruptibility immortality kuto fisadishwa kuto kufa now, sasa is saying anasema that of all the organs ya kwamba katika viungo vyote the heart is the most central to the lord moyo in the ndio, human being moyo ndio ulio muhimu sana kwa bwana kwa mwanadamu the heart is the one that modulates faith in jesus moyo ndio ambao una, unaendesha imani katika yesu joy furaha decision making kufanya maamuzi whether you want to be spiritual or not it is the heart iwe unataka kuwa wa kiroho ama sivyo ni moyo it determines your plannings unaamua mipango yako your desires matamanio yako even the enemy targets the heart hata adui analenga moyo and on and on na kuendelea na kuendelea that's why i want to focus on the heart ndio sababu nataka kulenga moyo now the book of First Samuel chapter 13 verse 14. Kitabu cha Samueli wa kwanza mlango wa 13 mstari wa 14. Saul But now thy kingdom shall not continue. Saul. Sauli, lakini sasa ufalme wako hautadumu. The Lord hath found a man after his own heart and the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people. Bwana amemtafuta mtu wa upendezaye moyo wake na amemchagua awe kiongozi wa watu wake because thou hast not kept thou which the lord commanded thee because if you read really the reason he chooses david is because actually he says that david shall do his will everything kwa sababu sababu ambayo anamchagua daudi ni kwamba anasema daudi atatenda mapenzi yake kila siku moyo moyo because, because he told Saul go and destroy the amalekites kwa sababu alimwambia sauli nenda ukawaangamize wa maleki destroy the animals the people and everything don't do any looting there ukawaangamize wanyama watu na kila kitu usichukue chochote huko Saul saved their king Saul saved the fat animals he, he did things that defiled god then he began to sacrifice them unto the lord sauli aka akamwacha mfalme akaacha wanyama walionona akafanya kitu cha unajisi alafu akaanza kuvitoa kama dhabihu kwa Mungu The book of Acts chapter 13 verse 22 Kitabu cha Matendo ya Mitume 13 mstari wa 22 And when he had removed him he raised up unto them David to be their king to whom also he gave testimony and said I have found David the son of Jesse a man after my own heart which shall fulfill all my will according to my pleasure 
baada ya kumuondoa Sauli katika ufalme akawainulia Daudi kuwa mfalme wao ambaye pia alimshuhudia akisema nimemuona Daudi mwana wa Yese mtu anayeupendeza moyo wangu atakayeyatimiza mapenzi yangu yote haleluya haleluya so this people that i saw enter ivo basi hawa watu ambao naliwaona wakiingia these are the features of their heart basi hizi ndizo tabia za moyo wao Their hearts have absolute faith in God number 1. Moyo yao iko na imani kweli kweli kwa Mungu. Number 2, absolute love for God. Number 2 ni kwamba wako na upendo wa kweli kwa Mungu. Number 4, absolute thankfulness to God. Number 4, wako na shukurani za kweli kwa Mungu. Number 4, absolute repentant heart. Number 4, wako na moyo wa kweli wa toba. Number 5 absolute obedience unto the Lord. Number 5 wako na utiifu kweli kweli kwa kikamilifu. Number 6 absolute honesty to God. Alafu number 6 wakiwa na uaminifu wa kweli kwa Mungu. Number 7 spirit filled heart. Number 7 wakiwa na moyo uliojazwa na roho. Number 8 a heart that spends time alone with God. Number 8 moyo ambao unatafuta muda wa pekee na Mungu. Remember the spending of time alone somewhere. Kumbuka kuchukua wakati fulani wa kipekee ukiwa peke yako mahali fulani is the wonderful companion ni ushirika wa ajabu the wonderful friend to companionship communion with god urafiki wa ushirika wa karibu na mungu when moses was alone somewhere wakati musa alikuwa peke yake mahali fulani then the lord approached kisha bwana akatokea so a heart that can spend some time alone kwa hivyo with mo- the lord moyo ambao unaweza kuchukua muda fulani pekee pamoja na bwana a bold heart moyo wa ujasiri an inquisitive heart an inquiring heart if you will moyo wa kutaka kujua kutafuta a caring heart moyo wa kujali kumbuka and is a heart of servanthood a servant heart moyo wa utumishi moyo wa utumishi a self sacrificial heart moyo wa kujitolea a courageous heart on the matters of god moyo wa ujasiri kuhusiana na masuala ya Mungu a loyal heart moyo wa uaminifu in other words absolute loyalty to god kumaanisha uaminifu kamilifu kwa Mungu a heart that declares the power of god moyo ambao unatangaza nguvu za Mungu a heart that declares the grace of god moyo ambao unatangaza neema ya Mungu a heart that depends on God's provision moyo ambao unategemea utualizi wa Mungu a heart that desires God's presence moyo ambao unatamani uwepo wa Mungu a humble heart moyo wa unyenyekevu a reverent heart moyo wa heshima a respectful heart moyo wa kuheshimu a trusting heart moyo wa kutumaini or trustworthy heart a Mo- devoted heart moyo uliojitolea a heart that recognizes Jehovah for who he is moyo ambao unamtambua Jehovah kwa kuwa yeye ni nani a willing heart moyo ulio na hiari a holy heart moyo mtakatifu a righteous heart moyo wa haki a heart of worship moyo wa kuabudu a heart that strives to do and fulfill God's will moyo ambao una the very reason he called him and distinguished him from Saul moyo ambao unapambana kutimiza ma- mapenzi ya Mungu a heart that performs god's pleasure according to king james moyo ambao unatenda mapenzi ya Mungu kuninga tafsiri a heart of dignity moyo wa heshima a heart of integrity moyo wa unyofu a powerful heart moyo wa nguvu a strong heart moyo wa nguvu treasured heart i can say them all the way ninaweza nikazisema sote hallelujah hallelujah have you got a few je umepata chache now you can really use those to look at the picture of your heart sasa unaweza kutumia hiyo kutazama taswira ya moyo wako 
Then you can now electrocardiogram or electroencephalometer. I don't know what the names are these days. You can Alafu, now connect to the heart and take the readings against these parameters, right? Alafu naweza kuziunganisha na moyo na kusoma kulinganisha na Hallelujah. And you see where you measure on these parameters. Alafu uone mahali ambapo unapima ambapo umefikia katika mikono. Prepare a holy bride in this nation. 